On slippery roads, curves, or in emergency maneuvers, the front end of a vehicle may start to plow ahead, or the rear end may spin out. When this occurs, ESC brakes individual wheels to maintain control. They may also reduce engine speed to bring the car back into the intended line of travel. The benefits of ESC are clear. If every vehicle on the road had ESC, Adaptive Cruise Control System Adaptive Cruise Control System is an intelligent form of cruise control that uses camera-based system to automatically accelerate and brake to maintain a safe distance from the car in front, providing the driver with added safety and comfort while driving. Press the highlighted button on steering wheel to activate the system. Check the indication on the instrument cluster. When the path ahead is clear, the car will continue at its preset speed. If the car in front slows down gradually, your car will also slow down to maintain the set gap. And when the vehicle ahead speeds up suddenly, your car will also speed up till it achieves the speed you have previously set. TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring Systems and it consists of these little sensors that go in each of your wheels and what they're going to do is they're going to tell your car what the current pressure of each tire is. Now the reason why this is so important is having your tires properly inflated is going to give you the best performance, the best fuel economy, it's going to reduce blowouts and it's going to extend your tire's life. Now the way the TPMS work are typically once they see a 25% reduction in tire pressure, they're going to illuminate a light on your dash. Now the reason that you never want to solely rely on that is 25% is a lot, so you always want to make sure that you're periodically checking your pressure. Mazda's Lane Departure Warning alerts you if you unintentionally stray from your lane. The system operates at speeds above 65 kilometers an hour. A windscreen mounted camera monitors lane markings on the road. If you stray out of your lane, Lane Departure Warning notifies you with a display and warning sound on the corresponding side. If you indicate before changing lanes, the system recognises the lane change is intentional and disables the warnings. It has a BSM button on the dashboard, usually to the left of the steering wheel. Press the button to turn the blind spot monitor on. It will illuminate, a chime will sound, and indicator lights in the outside mirrors will come on for a few seconds as part of an initial system check. While driving, if an adjacent vehicle enters a blind spot area, the indicator will illuminate in that side view mirror. In the event that the turn signal is used while the blind spot monitor light is on, the indicator in the side view mirror will begin to flash to warn the driver that there may be something in their blind spot. Rear Cross Traffic Alert, or RCTA, helps the driver when backing up. RCTA can detect oncoming cross traffic and notify the driver via a warning chime and indicator light on the outside mirror on the side of the oncoming vehicle. When your vehicle's in reverse and traveling at less than 5 miles per hour, the system's designed to detect other vehicles approaching between 5 and 18 miles per hour from the right or left rear of the vehicle. This system can help the driver to avoid unexpected collisions when backing up. Hello, Tom. Autonomous driving activated. Approaching urban area, resume manual driving mode. Traffic Sign Assist supports you.
by detecting speed limits and overtaking restrictions and showing them in the display. It also warns you if you're turning into a road in the wrong direction. The traffic signs are detected by the camera at the top of the windscreen. The general traffic laws and data from the navigation system are also used for the evaluation. You can switch Traffic Line Assist on and off in the Settings menu under Assistance in the onboard computer. When you pass a traffic sign, the corresponding traffic regulation is shown in the display for 5 seconds. In navigation mode, the traffic signs are also displayed on the command display. Automatic emergency braking is a feature that only activates in forward emergency collision situations. Automatic emergency braking is active every time you start the vehicle, and unless you see a warning message, the system is operational. This intelligent system uses a radar mounted on the front of the vehicle to detect the speed and distance of the car directly in front of you. The system is able to calculate if there's about to be a rear-end collision with that vehicle. The system first alerts the driver with a visual and audible warning to encourage them to hit the brakes. If the driver doesn't respond with hard enough braking, the system has the ability to apply even harder braking to potentially avoid a collision or at least mitigate the damage during a collision. Some vehicles are equipped with a rollover sensor designed to deploy the side airbags on both sides of the vehicle if the system senses that a rollover is imminent. The front side airbags are designed to deploy in a sufficient side impact to help provide injury protection on the affected side. The front passenger seat features the Occupant Position Detection System, or OPDS. The system uses sensors in the seat back and outboard seat back bolster to determine the height and position of the occupant. If the system detects that a child or small statured adult is occupying the seat and is leaning into the side airbag deployment path, it will deactivate the side airbag and illuminate a side airbag off indicator light to alert the driver. Whiplash can occur when the occupant's head and upper body move in opposite directions in response to a collision, causing strain on the neck. The WIL seat backs feature rigid side frames that keep the occupant securely located, along with a thick cushioned central support area that compresses, permitting the upper body to sink into the seat back if the vehicle is hit from behind. The headrest is shaped in position so the head and upper body are both supported at the same time, reducing the potential for whiplash. With active headrests, if the vehicle is struck from behind, the force of the occupant's lower back pressing against a mechanism in the seat back triggers the headrest to move almost instantly forward and upward. Reducing the distance between the head and the head restraint can help reduce the risk of whiplash to the seat occupant. Brian! Come on, take a leg. we got to get on the road, buddy. Oh, all right there, eager beaver.
All right. Hey. Crash avoidance technologies use cameras, radar, or both to detect pedestrians. They can warn the driver while also braking automatically to slow or stop the car.